everybody welcome back to the greenhouse i want to read a few things for you uh, today because i want to make sure i get them right uh, one is that we've changed the name of these 10 minute um, lecture seminars that we're doing because apparently the name we were using which i'm not going to bring up uh, is used by some other people uh, some of whom we prefer not to be associated with uh, so we're going to change our name and now we're going to call ourselves off the grid revolution we think that's pretty accurate because this is Occupy Youngstown, Occupy Warren. Um, it's anonymous uh, and uh, that fits because this is an off-the-grid greenhouse and this is an off-the-grid revolution. Um, one of the ways we link to this is through uh, the People's Virtual Library. So I want you to Google that or whatever search engine you use and see what else is there because it's filled with great stuff. Um, so. To, to the gardening. Um, last year we were helping a gardener by the name of Bob uh, do some things in his garden and the year before that too and we're not helping him anymore and we're not because he's helping us now. Um, one of the really cool things about starting a garden and then um, having somebody take it on themselves is that they get the same fervor, the same fire, the same excitement about doing gardening and spreading food and spreading wealth. Um, he gave us plants uh, from his garden and we transplanted some stuff um, so that's one of the neat things about uh, the, this gardening part of the revolution is that it is contagious and as people learn and grow in their own lives and learn and grow their own, learn how to grow their own food um, they stretch out to other people good thing the other thing I wanted to um, bring up was another thing for you to google and that is um, vegetarians of greater Youngstown now maybe you're not from around here uh, and that's okay because we understand we have quite a uh, following um, elsewhere. Um, you might want to go to that website and see what uh, is going on with the vegetarians of Greater Youngstown because part of the revolution is to um, use resources wisely and regardless of what your ethical possession on um, eating animals uh, is, I remember a song um, that a musician by Melanie wrote, or was it Melody? Melody wrote. And she says, I don't eat animals and they don't eat me. It's a good relationship with animals, I think. Um, uh, now, I'm not a complete vegetarian. Uh, I have to disclose that. But I do my best uh, to eat responsibly. And part of eating responsibly is not eating, uh, not eating meat. Uh, so, there you have it. Uh, vegetarians of Greater Youngstown. Um, if you don't have a project where you're helping people to get gardens started, get started. If you don't have a group that is promoting vegetarianism, whether you're a vegetarian or not, I suggest you do some of that. Uh, so there you go. Just a few notes um, from management and from feedback um, from people. And those of you who are giving us feedback, thank you for that because we want to promote a revolution that is 99% um, and y'all out there are the 99%. So um, let's do more of this communicating. We're going to come up with an email address, so uh, save your questions for um, whenever we get that going. Uh, we're going to create a, a separate email account so that we can um, have an interaction with you. We don't want to do blog um, because it um, creates an opportunity for too much conflict. Uh, we don't want this to be a battleground. We want this to be a fun and educational thing. Um, so there you have it. I wanted to show you a thing or two in the garden today. Um, this is uh, this was picked out of the trash. Notice how it has corporate swill across the front of it, but that's not the point of it. The point of it is there's also a hot pepper in there that we planted with more of that um, Youngstown gold, or was it Youngstown brown, Joe? Do you remember? I know. We've been talking both. Actually, <laughs> we, we don't know what to call our poop, so we need to get our poop together. <laughs> Come up with one name. Anyway, there you have it. If you don't like the idea of having corporate swill on your labels, I mean, I think it's kind of cute. They're not that hard to take off, okay? Da 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 da. Now it's just a um, pot. Now, if you're going to try and grow in a pot and leave things in a pot for a longer period of time, what you need to do is you need to take and punch some holes in the bottom so that it has some drainage. I didn't do that because this is to give away or to uh, sell to raise money for the Community Bill of Rights. Now also, planting in these kind of pots and cans and things like this 
is an excellent way also for people with limited space, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, planter gardens are, um, are very popular. Um, look at this, Joe. Get this picture of this tomato plant here. That's a cherry tomato. Uh, it's growing by leaps and bounds. Um, it needs to be transplanted because the pot is too small. But if you look at this one over here, that one's ready to go. Okay, you can take that. The one your, in the orange pot? Yeah, this one you can take to your um, balcony or your sidewalk or the roof of your flat garage or whatever. See the flowers? They're going to become tomatoes. Okay, check this one out over here. Can you get a shot of those tomatoes, Joe? Nobody that I know has tomatoes growing as well and as good as we do. Do you see them down here? Yes. There's tomato here, tomato here. Um, and we've been eating them. Already, we're frying the tomatoes in a little bit of um, uh, oil with uh, spices, and um, they're delicious. Fried Damn bean tomatoes, sick. they're wonderful food. Um, down here, you can see the kale that we had before. Uh, uh, we've got a critter in here that's eating them, but guess what? Critters need to eat too. We're not going after killing critters. We don't do that in the garden here, or the greenhouse here. We give them their share, and we take our share, and I, we figure that's fair enough. We're not eating the bugs, and the bugs are not eating us. Um, just like we don't eat animals, we don't kill bugs. Because we don't have to. There's enough to go around. Okay, there's enough to go around. Um, so there you have it. We did the um, farmer's market today. And uh, I don't know whether you can hear it or not, but the rain's coming down pretty heavy uh, on the roof of the greenhouse. Um, we didn't sell anything. Um, and we didn't get even one signature for the Community Bill of Rights. But what we did was we packed it all, packed up um, 50 plants you know, into the back of the, um, the little red pickup truck and took it to a garden uh, called a Jubilee Garden where we're going to plant them into a 15 by 15 spot um, as soon as we get a couple dry days. Fantastic. So we didn't sell anything, but we gave some things. And every one of those tomato plants will produce food for people, um, most of which we'll probably just give away. I think we mentioned before we do the Food Not Brahms project. Um, downtown Youngstown, and we'll probably be putting some of the tomatoes in the Food Not Bombs um, program. Uh, we had to pull up the, uh, the uh, our minds were in the gutter again, we had to pull up the um, old lettuce plants. See how this one over here is kind of getting big leaves on it, and uh, when they get too big and too tough, they get lumpy and chewy and bitter like this one is. So we took, took them out and uh, transplanted in some red leaf uh, lettuce and uh, this is from seed. I can't remember whether the seeds were found in a dumpster or whether somebody donated them to us. It was one or two. Uh, we did that. Um, so our minds are in the gutter again. Um, we've moved out a bunch of plants from the garden. Um, bug ate the top of this tomato. I hope you enjoyed it. I got a chuckle out of seeing how nicely he just nipped it off. Um, I didn't think a bug could do that. We got some donations. These are flowers, uh, black-eyed Susans. Uh, they'll go for sale or to give away. We don't care, one or the other. Uh, we're going to transplant some mint. Can you see this over here, Joe? Yes. I was told, I don't know for a fact, that mint grows uh, like a weed, and as long as you get some root structure to it, you can actually um, grow the mint. And we're going to put them in a pot. Probably, can you see this? This one down here, underneath. Okay. That yes. pot was picked up out of the trash today, uh, this week. Um, we do a lot of um, curb shopping is what we call it. Grabbing things that people are going to throw away to take to the landfill. That's going to be where we grow mint. The point of putting the mint into that kind of container is that it sends out roots and goes everywhere. Mm -hmm. If you plant mint in your garden, it's going to go nuts. Uh, it's going to take up all your space and you're going to be pulling it out like a weed and you're going to be swearing at Randy for telling you to plant mint. So put it in a container where that doesn't happen. Um, somebody said they wanted to see the, um, the pump again. So I'm going to come over here and show you the pump. Uh, up, up here on the roof, uh, where, where you can't, uh, on the other side of this glass is where the solar panel is. And that solar panel runs a pump that is in the basement. And that pump um, is attached to uh, a, a line that comes up here. And um, when you push the button to turn the pump on, it brings water from the two tanks in the basement. That spitting is the air in the line. Isn't that cool? Fantastic. 
110 gallons of water in the basement today because it's raining so much. We know there's that much down there. Wow. Um, it's free. It's free. All free water. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take out these tomato plants over here. They're gonna go to the garden. Um, we don't know what they are. So what we're gonna do is uh, because people won't uh, aren't buying the ones that we don't have labeled properly. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna plant them in a garden and then we're gonna sell the tomatoes. Or give them away. Either way, it doesn't matter. You want to go outside and see the kale that we have growing for you, Joe? Actually, we have about 30 seconds left <laughs> on this video. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, keep your eyes out for the email address that we've got. The People's Virtual, Virtual Library. Remember that. Uh, and remember, uh, Vegetarians of Greater Youngstown. Check those sites out. They're okay. cool. Thanks, everybody. Bye.